shoulder's just in my foot. A thorn. This is crazy. A bunch of the fish I see at like aquarium stores, I'm seeing right down the floor. He ate the fish. He ate it. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We are here in Hawaii on the big island. We linked up with Nick Bailey, flew about 16 hours to make this happen. We are here and what we're gonna be doing today is catching wild octopus, anywhere from this size to this size. And these things are not easy to catch. They're very, very smart creatures. Very, very cool looking. And to top it off, we brought this aquarium with us. So whatever we do catch today, octopus, you may even catch other stuff. We're gonna be bringing it back to the aquarium. You guys can get a great look on it. And yeah, this is gonna be crazy. You guys ready? Let's, Let's do it. it. Man. Let's go, dude. Let's go. All right. So, yeah, what's gonna, What's going on? Basically, what we got is, if you guys see that super dark water out there, you see that? Yeah. yeah. We're not going all the way out there. We're going about half that distance. Okay. Probably about an eighth of a mile, not even a quarter of a mile. And what we're looking for is different texture, right? So you'll see something about yay big on like a white, whitish rock. You'll see something sticking off like that, and it's gonna have a different texture. That's the octopus's head. But basically, you're holding onto the edge of the, edge of the rock. Let's say the taco's right here. You're taking your spear. You're lightly poking, lightly poking, lightly poking. He's gonna grab his tentacles out. Don't grab the tentacles. That everyone grabs the tentacles. Don't grab. So the, the poking's just to kind of agitate him wait a little. Until, come out. Wait until he's almost fully out or fully out. You grab him, and then when you come up, you're gonna be tangled in him. He's gonna be like wrapping you all around. I'm gonna try to get you guys shallow. Hopefully, 10, 20 feet. If not. They're always in 30, 40 feet. But we're gonna, we're gonna do our best to find you guys some real shallow. This was just in my foot. A thorn, about half an inch, went through my shoe. That was in my foot. What? Yeah, Did went through my shoe. shoe. No. Through, honestly? Looks a little nerve wracking, never done it before, so definitely is a little nerve wracking, but I think once we get in there, get comfortable, it's gonna be amazing. All right, here we go. We're heading in. Add him to this tank right here so you can get a good look. And that way he's not too stressed out. He's still in the water. And wow, that right there is a baby octopus we just caught. So cool, he's completely changed colors. This right here is one of the smartest sea creatures. I mean, they can 
They can, I don't know if you've ever seen the octopus teacher, but it's an octopus that would hang out in a cave and this guy would come back to it every day for like a year straight to the point where this octopus would wait for him and to get to the cave and then it would come out and like climb on him and stuff. It's crazy. Some of you have probably seen the movie, but it's a perfect movie to show you how smart these creatures are. And we got one in an aquarium right now in Hawaii. So epic. So what I'm gonna do is set this up for him. So when we're diving for other stuff, we have our octopus being held in here just for the time being while we're diving and we're gonna set it all up. That way he's not stressed out. We'll build like a little cave in here, put the aerator on and he'll be chilling. We got cool, we got a little bit of structure in there. That's just gonna keep him a bit more comfortable for his time in the aquarium. And we'll try to catch him a buddy here. And then we're gonna try to feed them live crabs that we're gonna catch. It's gonna be insane. He's actually just vibing right now. It's a good sign. He's nice and uh, it's actually the color of the rock. I've never caught in like a big octopus like this. Usually the ones we catch back at home, they're like this big, this big. This is a decent size. And Nick said they get even bigger. So this is a baby, bro. Yeah, he's we're this gonna is get a some, baby. We're going to get some big tacos. What's the biggest bro? one you've ever caught out here? I caught one that's tentacles were this thick around. Holy smokes. Dude, I am so stoked right now. This is crazy. I told you guys we were going to come make epic content. What are we doing right now? We're just getting started, brother. We're just getting started. Bro, let's get back in the water. Let's go get some more. Let's, let's go, go, boys. Let's go. Oh, this is so Dude, cool. look right up. Oh, oh, my head. What the? <laughs> this kid caught no, a fish with his head. No, feed it to the octopus. No, feed it to the octopus. Feed it to the octopus? Yeah. What is that, bro? Dude. Dude. How'd you catch that? Bare handed. Oh, that was crazy. There was a school book. I'm not sure what this is, maybe a flying fish, but saw him coming by, reached my hand down, I was able to snag him. I think I got lucky, but here he is. <laughs> ow, ow! Here, when you release him, go ahead. Yeah, ready? And he's off. How many, how many yellow tanks do you think that was? Like 500? At, yeah, least. at least. At least a couple hundred. At yeah. least. Listen, I've never been to Hawaii. I've only seen yellow tanks like that. <laughs> in a fish store. Literally. Now, it's kind of crazy seeing that they're like 300 bucks in a fish store and, and thousands of them swimming around. Right. <laughs> 300 a pop right there. It's like 20K Literally. right in front of our face. Crazy. <laughs> we'll give you a little update on Jimmy. If you look right back there, there's his eyes. He's camouflaged in the rocks. He's kind of moving around right now, but he'll put them how he wants them. As long as he's not inking, that means he's not stressed. So we are good. So since we weren't able to catch a second octopus, Nick actually ended up catching the first one. Thankfully, we were able to at least get one. But since we didn't catch a second one, we're, what we're gonna do is search all these rocks and all these tide pools and see if we can find a little crab, little fish that we can actually feed to the octopus we have in the aquarium. So I'm searching through all these rocks and crevices. These crabs are very small. There's tons of them, but they're also pretty hard to catch with all the hiding spots they have. If I can get the boys help, we can catch, catch them. Hey guys, Christian, Zach, I need your help. Over 
Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect bait fish. Little sand perch. Right in the net here. Woo. Oh. 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 Man down. Man down. That's a good perfect bait right there for the taco. Perfect bait for our octopus. We're going to see if he eats it. We're going to see if he's hungry. Wow. Yeah, good job. Good job. Now, there is a high chance he does not eat just because we did catch him a couple. We did catch him about 30 minutes ago, but there is a chance he could eat. So, we might as well try. That's the only way we'll find out. Here we go. All right, so there he is right in the corner. I'm going to toss the fish right on his head pretty much. There it goes right down to him. It's yeah. in front of his face. Oh, oh. oh. he's gonna get it. He oh. wants it. He wants it. <laughs> That's how they catch the prey. They're smart. Oh. He's sneaking up on him right oh my now. Gosh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Dude, this would be crazy to see live. He's totally he's gonna get it. I promise you, I'm running in the water. I'm going back to it. Let me see. No way he hand feeds it, bro. If no I can way. hand feed him. Come on, Jimbo. If he Time smells that, you should take it in. Jimbo, you want it? Nice fish. He's got it. He's got the fish. He's got the fish in his hands. He's taking it in. He's taking it in. David, David, right here. He ate the fish. He ate it. Oh, let it go. Jimbo, let it go. Jimbo, is that not your favorite meal, brother? Leave that right there and see that. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Oh my god, boy. Right here, right here from the single. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. No way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He ate it. No way. Bro, he ate the whole what? Fish. Bro, that's gone. Tail. That's wild. The head of the fish is in his mouth. <laughs> Bro. We just fed an octopus that we caught in the wild, put in captivity for about 30 minutes, caught him a bait, put it in there, and he ate it. I'm, I don't even That's know insane. what to say. Yeah. That's insane. In Hawaii. Look at this. Insane. Bro, he just took that whole thing and ate it. All right. It is time, Jimbo the octopus. He's got a nice meal inside of him. He gave us a cool experience. We're going to be releasing him back to his home to live another day. Here we go. Such a pretty, before I release this guy though, just check out the detail on this octopus. If you know what exact species this is, let us know in the comments down below. I have no idea, I have no idea. He may be a Caribbean octopus, but I really don't know exactly. See you, Jimbo. Say later, bye to Jimbo. everybody. Jimbo, see you later, man. All right, boys, say bye to Jimbo. Zach, give him a kiss, man. That'll be the thumbnail. That was nice and slimy. What a crazy experience. I want to give a big shout out to Nick Bailey. His link is going to be in my description down below, his YouTube channel. If you want to see more content of what we were doing today, so there's definitely more of it on his channel. Like I said, the link will be in my description. But I also want to give a shout out to Zach, CJ, and Mr. David Bronner behind the camera there. This was absolutely insane. We got an octopus, put him in a tank, we even fed him, and the best of all, we released him safely. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. And boys, what did you think? Insane experience. I, I was shocked. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. Cool. Ten minutes. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. That was the quickest fish tank octopus I've ever crazy. seen in my life. Thank dude. you, Nick. Seriously. Congrats, bro. Thank you. Bro. We'll see you guys in the next one. See you.